Hello everybody, Wild Tracker here, and welcome, welcome to another episode here on New Reador. Yes, and you've caught me in the middle of chopping some trees down in today's episode, and uh, that's because we're going to clear this area out, and I've got a plan for it. Um, and I'm just wondering, do I take that tree out as well? Um, it's kind of on the top there, so I think we will. Um, yeah, so I'm making an area because I've got something I want to set up today, and... Although we might put something in the projects area as a mini thing, I think it's going to point to here because um, this is obviously where the house is and that was obviously a different kind of leaf. Um, yeah, so this is where the house is going to be. So on it, next to my house, that's the idea that we're going to be doing is if we build shops or um, games or whatever that, um, yeah, we kind of do it here. So uh, I might take this one out as well and then we can replant some trees if we need to just so we can see what area we've got. So what are we going to do today? Well, we are going to do geocaching. Yes, geocaching. The greatest game on earth. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of geocaching. If you haven't, go to geocaching.com um, and you'll see it's a worldwide GPS type game that you can play. Um, and the idea actually started when the Americans descrambled their satellites and basically somebody on the internet said, I wonder how accurate GPSs now are that the satellites are descrambled and I'm going to go and hide this big, big bucket in the middle of nowhere in America, uh, get the GPS coordinates and I'm bury it underground and you tell me if you can find it. And he did. And they did. And somebody else said, I'm going to do the same. And here we are later and there are literally hundreds of thousands if not millions of geocaches all around the world now most countries have them even the Antarctica has them um, and basically all it is a cache is a, a container that's hidden not necessarily buried now there are rules against that sort of thing so um, if we go into our inventory um, I want to try and do this in Minecraft um, ignore some of the things that are in my inventory at the moment um, we don't have a chest but it could be a chest for example um, and one of the things we could do, so we're not allowed to bury it, but we've got this uh, dropper here, and that means we can place things inside it. So I could put these sticks and I could put that tree in there. Um, the important thing is you can put a log book, um, and there'll be a written book as well. Um, and the only thing we can do if we want to hide it is you could probably hide it with some carpet. Okay, so in the real world we might use leaves, cover it with leaves, because the GPS would take you down to the nearest meter, um, and based on that you'd be able to find it. Obviously I wouldn't put it in the middle of there like that, you might sort of put it up here um, and place it there, for example, which is a little bit more obscure and you wouldn't necessarily notice it whilst walking past. But um, And then people can open it, they would then find a logbook where they can put in their name to say, hey, I found it, and there'll also be a book in here to tell you all about it and the rules and that sort of thing. So we're going to do that. It's also going to contain swaps. So whatever's in here, if we place gold bars in there, for example, if you came along, you could only take the gold bars out if you replaced it with two items. Okay, so uh, the idea is to um, to swap things. Now, what I'd like to see is members on the server swapping some pretty decent stuff. So, if they've been fishing and found themselves, uh, like I've got a spare silk touch book, um, if I had three or four of those, I might put a silk touch book in there. But they've got to, you know, put their worthy junk, if you like. So, things that they're not going to need. Um, maybe they've got a really decent bow and it's, you know, it's no good for them because they've got three of them. And, yeah, they could put it in there for a swap. Um, so that's the idea behind it. But first of all, they've got to find these things. And we have a bit of a challenge on this server because we have no coordinates. So I can't just use the coordinates of the server and say that's where it is or even the closest chunk uh, and tell them to go and look in that chunk because that wouldn't work. On a normal server, we could probably just say, yeah, it's in this chunk. You go and find it. You find the chunk and then you've got a 16 by 16 radius to go and find the cache. So um, we're going to kind of do this a bit treasure hunty. So... Um, what we're going to do is we're going to give them clues to where it is um, and then they can find it from those clues so uh, what I'm going to do now is I've got this cleared out I'm going to go and uh, hide a couple so I'm going to uh, hide a couple of these caches um, and then I'm going to write the books and give the clues and then from that you'll get an idea of what that's about now while I do that you probably saw in my inventory we got some purpler blocks some chorus fruit um, 
and some end rods which can only mean one thing we've been to the end and we fought the dragon so uh, I thought what I'd do is whilst I go and hide these caches and the sunsets I'd let you guys uh, watch a little bit of footage at the end of dragon fight so hope you enjoy so we have gathered with all the people from the cell, not all but quite a lot of the people to fight the dragon for the first time and we are also happy to introduce a new member to the server, Dougie. Woohoo! Hey everybody. Actually, <laughs> can't you introduce yourself? That's easier. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Dougie Dog Dog. Um, subscribe. <laughs> 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 Nailed it. So, uh, we've got another Redstoner technical guy now on the server, which might help us in future projects, I think, because he totally knows what he's doing. <laughs> 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 Did you just throw your pickaxe? It was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> He's British. So yeah, and a drink fight. Uh, you've got the the end eye. Do you want to light that real quick? And then oh, I yeah. think Ooh. we can go through. Actually, I don't want to get through. It, we Let could die on the other side, right? Let him go through. Yeah. <laughs> Send the new guy first. Newbie yeah. first. Dougie, 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 Dougie. Oh god. I hope he's alright. Is it safe? I it hope is, he's alive. It seems to be pretty safe. He okay, didn't even give him any armour. Safe. It's, it's not safe. <laughs> <laughs> there pretty is safe. no safety. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, quick. Can, can, you, can you go through and make it safe for us? It's it's off the island and I don't have any blocks. Someone, uh, oh, I was gonna say someone else could <laughs> <to> go. <laughs> <laughs> where, where should we go if we've got like a new member on the server that can do the job for us? Okay, let's see. He's gone very quiet. Do you think he's alright? Is it safe now? <laughs> he's probably trapped at the other side. You know that, don't you? <laughs> so, so, so <laughs> quiet. Should, should we go through and help him? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. yeah. That. One yeah. at a time, though. You all push each other off. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, careful that the dragon is not coming. Uh, one after well, the other. Ah, uh, hold on. Oh my God, this is not safe. I hmm. got two achievements at a time. Yay. <laughs> who's who's looked oh, at is those endermen? This replacement for a for a porter, isn't it? Bit, so yeah. an another thing so we wanted to do is to try and not use. Oh my God! I looked at an enemy. Oh. <laughs> Me too. Rip. I'm dead. Uh, not use bow and arrow. <laughs> we'll try to use swords only. Uh, so this is going to be fun. Oh. <laughs> <no>. <laughs> he's he's in the center, so that's good. Good. Whoa! Whoa! I'm dead. Ooh. Everyone's very quiet. The, en the Enderman's Everybody's focusing. <laughs> I bet we'll have some epic music now, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh,
There it goes. Oh, it comes. There he goes. Who got it? Who got it? Oh, possum. I won't go for uh, the XP. There's two enemy waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> I can go for it. What? No, enemy. Oops, Oops. good. Lots of enemy. Yeah, yeah, again, again. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna rush XP. into the portal. <laughs> anybody? <laughs> anybody got any food? <laughs> I got so food. So into the portal. So okay. that was the Ender Dragon fight. Yay. <laughs> Yeah, so that was the Ender Dragon fight, and uh, it wasn't too bad. I think the worst things was taking down the the crystals. We decided not to use bows to take those down, um, and yeah, I got one down without being killed, but the other one I knew I just had to commit suicide doing it for the team, so I did. Um, didn't lose anything doing that, actually. Petty did find my bow later on was the only decent thing I had when I did that. I have lost my axe, though. I've got a diamond sword now. Um, I need to get another axe because I did lose that when myself and Peddy were linking the portals up. Um, I was in the nether, fell through a hole, uh, dropped all the way down to the bottom, nearly hit lava, but did die. And I got everything back apart from my axe, which was a bit of a shame. So, uh, yeah, I need to need to get some more diamonds and get that going. But uh, we will do that at some point. It's not a problem. It's just a few diamonds. We've got plenty of XP now. We can get plenty of XP. So... Uh, but yeah, it was good fun. The, the only thing we did notice, the dragon didn't uh, breathe any dragon's breath, so we couldn't get any of that. And also it never landed in the center, so until it actually died. So there's definitely some issues uh, with the dragon there, but uh, at least we can respawn more dragons to do that. And I think the, uh, the egg is over at the town hall, so uh, that's awesome. Uh, we just need to explore the end a little bit more, really. Um, find some end cities and some elytras and, and that sort of thing. But anyway, back to this. I just wanted to show you this. Um, so these are three container types that we're going to use. Um, I'm not sure if there's more in the game or not. I'll have to put my thinking cap on, but it needs something that has an inventory. A furnace is no good because it'll only hold one item, and we need definitely two as a minimum. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments if you think there's other containers we can use that has an inventory of more than uh, two items. So this one has nine inventory slots, uh, and we're going to put a You Found It book, and we're also going to put a log book, um, which I didn't realise if you rename it, you then can't write in it, so that's no good. So um, we just have to keep it as book and quill. Um, and then we're going to put things in. So I'm always going to try and put something in for the first to find. Uh, first to find in a geocaching world is quite an important thing. So I'm going to put a diamond in this one. So the first person to find it gets the best loot. Um, we've got some water breathing and a few blocks and, and that sort of thing. So uh, let's just read these books so you can see an example of what we're doing. So uh, you'll have this which says, congratulations, you found it. Um, you're, you've just found a geocache, intentionally or not. What to do now? Sign and date the logbook. So that's the, uh, the other book. Uh, trade items if you want to and just remember to leave something of an equal or greater value and then rehide the container exactly where and how you found it and then don't forget to go and visit geocaching.com or download the free official app and go searching for geocaches in the real world so um, yeah I've been doing that for a number of years and it's great fun um, so the other thing we have is the logbook and the logbook simply, um, this one is going to be called Creepy Sewers. Okay, it gives you a bit of a clue where it's going to go. Um, there will be a, a full instruction book, which we'll look at in a moment, that tells you people how to find it. But that's the name of the cache, Creepy Sewers by Wild Trekker. Please sign this logbook and uh, to show you visited, and feel free to add any more comments. And it was placed by Wild Trekker on the 24th of April 2016. So people can then put their own dates and names and they can fill up a whole page of comments if they want to. In the, uh, When we log this online in geocaching, you always sort of leave a hint or something about the, the cache. You might say really nice, well hidden, lovely cache, great location, whatever you want really. So uh, yeah, so uh, lots of that in there. So that's going to go um, in there. So every cache will have these books in them, plus some swaps. Um, so this one here, for example, we've got the books and a few swaps. We've got a infinity bow there and breaking. Um, this one here, I've put a silk touch book in. So yeah, I really want some uh, some good loot for the first to find and then um, other things for other people to find. But not necessarily going to put the diamond in that one by the way guys I'm going to swap this loot around so you won't know which one has got which loot until you go and find it <laughs> I have now hidden three caches out in the world where they are only I know 
And we have this. We have a geo hut. Yoohoo! This is our place where people can come and they can have a look and see what caches are out there. Uh, so we've got a little bit here to look at. So here are the example caches. Example 1, example 2, example 3, and under here is an example of how it might be hidden under a carpet. So um, yeah, so welcome to mine caching, our version of geocaching. Please read the rules and do not remove anything from this hut. No, no, don't remove anything. Uh, let's have a quick look at what books we've got here. So we've got how to play mine caching. We've got how to place a cache. And then we've got the you found it book, which we've already read. Uh, read. Uh, but I've put it there because then people can copy it if they're going to create their own caches. And I've got it there to do it. And they've got it there to read as well. So how to play mine caching. So I've kind of put up together a simple rules. Um, basically explains about what the game is um, and basically our version of it, how to play it. Uh, there's different types that so we've got uh, normal, which we've done today. We haven't done any others, multi-cache, mystery or puzzle caches. Uh, normal cache is just uh, hidden at the location. A multi-cache requires you to visit several locations before finding it. A virtual cache has no logbook, but you'll need to record yourself at the location. So it'll be something significant, we say, take a selfie doing this, so it might be an action, you know. Um, maybe one's taking a selfie while flying a pig, I don't know. Um, a mystery or puzzle cache may involve complicated puzzles, so it could be redstone puzzles to retrieve it, uh, something like that, or it could just be a, you know, solve this crossword and you'll get the answer. Um, so you might have to do a puzzle before then getting the coordinates or the, the location. Um, it explains about the fact that you can have swaps and you need to put something of equal value back in, um, and the fact they're not buried, which we've already covered in there. So, um, yeah, I think that's... Uh, basically it and obviously we want guys to uh, record their game and have fun so uh, and not forgetting to go and visit geocaching.com the official geocaching site uh, which I'm not affiliated to but you know uh, go and visit it and play the game because it's fun uh, so if people want to place their own caches they can do and this is just really some information about there um, in terms of uh, what you need to do to place a cache and how to do it and examples and you know all that kind of thing and obviously if anybody on the server wants to do that please contact me and um, I'll help you it's not a problem um, so yeah we've got different chests at the moment they're only these small chests I don't know whether we're going to change that might have to extend this room put more in but uh, we can put more normal caches which is usually the most popular normal caches so we've got three in there we've got nothing uh, another normal cache nothing in multi nothing in puzzle nothing in virtual um, so yeah these are the cache books and this is what they're going to do so this is example pirates treasure Pirate's Treasure, cache, normal, difficulty, medium. So it's a normal type cache, uh, as in not multi-cache, and difficulty is medium. So it's not easy, but it's not difficult. So many others are more difficult. Um, and we can't put coordinates in, so we've kind of given clues, really. Pirates uh, may have gone, but the boat is still loaded, uh, or being loaded with treasure, and not just pumpkins. So that should be enough for them to find it. If they need a clue, here it is. And it's written in a decrypted or in encrypted format and to decrypt it um, so for example uh, G and B so G you come down here G is T and then B is O so it's a letter up or above below it so that means two so and you do actually get to a point where you can start reading this if you do it long enough so uh, yeah there are three caches in there for the guys to go and find there's pirates treasure not moose room in here and sewer cache so uh, yeah, I thought I'd set those three target ones for them to find initially, um, and then, um, yeah, we'll start placing some more, and I think hopefully some of the guys uh, will enjoy doing that, and then some of the guys will also join in by placing their own caches as well, which would be pretty awesome. So, uh, yeah, I think that's probably going to wrap it up for today's diet, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. It was good fun doing the end of Dragon Fight, and I've had a lot of fun doing this as well. It takes me back to my caching days. Uh, placing caches in the real world and uh, so on so forth so uh, yeah hope you've enjoyed it leave a like if you have don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out all the other guys channels listed below especially that new guy Dougie Doug go and give him a like go and say hello to him leave him a comment and uh, yeah say hi thanks for watching my name is Wild Tracker we'll see you again soon bye bye for now bye bye bye